So today we got one of the most anticipated Air Jordans in the fall collection. Fall so far has been fair. We've been getting some decent sneakers. Even the Air Jordan 8, the playoff is coming out a little bit later. We've been getting some fire joints, I ain't gonna hold you. But now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. The Palominos is out the way, the Air Jordan 8s is coming up, but this one had a lot of people's attention. So I'm excited to finally check these out live in the studio. I'm Sniper Jones, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of sneaker content just like this, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything upcoming. But without further ado, let's get into these Air Jordan 4s. Aya, Jordan brand, Jordan brand. Let's get into it, man. We get this iconic Air Jordan 4 flight box, right? Cursive writing, Air Jordan Jumpman in the middle. And this is a little trivia for my sneakerheads out there. I know y'all remember this box from somewhere. And if you're wondering where, it was the Air Jordan Topaz. So I think Jordan Brand does this every so often, which I like that they don't spam it. When they start spamming it, they lose me. But they do it every now and then to Air Jordan 4s, and I like that feeling. When I see a box like this with like the speckles on it, it gives me like that, I don't know, it just gets me excited because the Topaz was a really good Air Jordan 4. In this box, we have what I call one of the most anticipated sneakers of fall season, and this is our first time seeing it live, so let's get into it. Oh boy. This is the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement, man, and I'm not gonna lie, we got a lot to talk about. Man, wow. I, I, I knew going into this sneaker, it was gonna be something to talk about because I love the Air Jordan 4. Air Jordan 4s are one of my favorite silhouettes. If not, it might be my favorite silhouette in the Jordan collection, but I was intrigued, man. Uh, for a little background story for people who don't know, this shoe was obviously uh, obviously inspired by the original Air Jordan 4 white cement that was originally released in 1989, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. That's off the top of the dome, but if I'm right though, hit the like button, cause that, come on, that's, that's W memory. The last time we seen the Air Jordan 4 white cement was 2016, I believe. Once again, I'm spitballing, but I think I'm right on that one for sure. And now they decided to give us a remix of that classic sneaker and give us the white cement with the red on the upper. It's a lot of things that we need to talk about. One thing in particular I wanna show y'all in the camera before we get too far. Let's get into these red hint details though, man. What do y'all feel about the red hint details? This is the story of the shoe, right? We know what the cement looks like. We've either owned one, seen one. I mean, it's been out since 89. I know we ran across them. But the red hints on this sneaker, is it too vibrant? Is it bringing it to life or is it smooth? I don't know. I need to ask y'all that question before we get too far into the review. We're gonna talk about release dates. We're gonna talk about price points. We even gonna compare this sneaker to other Air Jordan 4s that it kind of mimic in a similar two. But before we get into that, I gotta ask y'all just straight up, colorway, color blocking. Is this too much for the Air Jordan 4? Anyways, listen man, one of the things I noticed right off the back about this sneaker, we gotta do it. If we're gonna compare it, we gotta compare it right. This is the original, well not the original, this is the 2016 pair of Air Jordan white cement fours, and you can see that yellow one in there, man. Hey, hey by the way, sneakerheads that don't wear y'all shoes, man, y'all should be ashamed. All right, look at these, man, these got miles on them, bruh. These got miles on them, bruh. Look at this yellow one on the upper. It got yellow one on the cage unit. It's a little bit old. Yes, I wear them. They're a little beat, but hey, bro, I get my wears in. Get your wears in, bro. wear shoes. Anyway, this is the comparison right here. This is the original, this is the remake. You can obviously see the main difference is the cement hints on the OG and the red cement on the new pair. I know people say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but this is not a bad remake. And trust me, I love this sneaker. It's one of my favorites, bro, it really is, but I can't get mad at them for reinventing the Air Jordan 4 red cement like this because it's not a bad take. Feel free to comment down below and let me know which one you'll take. I'm, I'm pretty sure majority of everybody watching will, will easily say the OG, but I'm surprised to see any of the young people who didn't grow up rocking this. I know I got a lot of viewers too. I'm surprised to see like who will switch over and say the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement. Regardless, that's pretty much the only big difference other than one huge thing. Other than the colorway being a big difference is one huge reason why the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement just might be slightly better. I gotta give it up to him, man. The material on this sneaker is absolutely amazing, bro. Tumbled leather throughout the entire upper. All this is tumbled. I know you see that on the camera, bro. All this is tumbled. It's not like that on that OG, man. This kind of reminds me of another sneaker that we are gonna compare this to a little bit later, but the tumbled leather on this shoe has got to be talked about. Material, 
10 out of 10. Colorway, I know the blocking looks weird because we not used to seeing a blocking like this, but nobody who's reviewed or looked at this nigga can hate on the material. This is butter. And remember, when it comes to Air Jordan 4s, a lot of times we get swayed like a Thunder, right? A lot of times we get swayed like a Cav 4 or a Nick 4, or however you want to say it, I'm from Cleveland. We call them the Cav 4s, or like a Toro 4 or whatever you want to call it. This buttery, come on, man. This is tumble and it's smooth. Now compare that to the OG, right? Compare that to the OG. This is just pure, good, amazing leather. It's a little beat, but it's not tumble like this. It's not tumble like this, it's, it's a difference. Now, leather quality does not make this sneaker better. And I know that's not a coincidence, right? Jordan brand didn't coincidentally make this sneaker better with material. They knew it was gonna be hard to beat that OG colorway, so they decided to double down and make some better quality on Air Jordan 4. Now still, in my opinion, the best Air Jordan 4 quality I've ever got in my entire life? Come on, man. You already know where I'm going. It, 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 it's only one king when it comes to quality. The Air Jordan 4 Oreo. Oh my God. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Now, I know a lot of my old heads gonna be like, just because it's tumble and just because it's, they don't mean it's the best. Okay, cool. That's fine. Preference, bro. Preference? I've never seen quality on an Air Jordan 4 like this Oreo 4 in my life, bro. This leather is soft, plush, tumbled. I mean, the whole nine. This is like that. This is like your grandmama purse right here, bro. This is a different level. They not there. Before Air Jordan 4, they get some credit, right? Because if you look at like a... Fire Red 4, they don't have this type of material, man. This 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 sneaker right here is next level material. The real sneaker to compare this to isn't even the OG White Cement. The real sneaker to compare this to is actually the Midnight Navy Air Jordan 4. Aya, come on, man. Hey, look, look, I don't want to take up too much time, but if we're going to do it, we got to do it right, man. We, we got to do it right. How many people remember these? How many people remember the Midnight Navy Air Jordan 4s, right? I mean, if we talk in comparison, in my opinion, this is the sneaker we need to be comparing this to, not the OG, because the material on this is the same exact material on this. They got the same material. Check it out. Tumbled around the entire upper the same way this Air Jordan Red Cement is tumbled around the entire upper. I think this is a better comparison. And then once again, if we comparison, we comparing these two, the Midnight Navy wins again. I, I'm more on like subtle, cool, lax colorways. This is very vibrant, vibrant, I'm sorry. It pops, really good sneaker, but I'm gonna go for subtle and, and, and smooth every single time. So when it comes to these two, please be sure to comment down below and let me know which one you guys like the most. But I had to kind of compare this sneaker a little bit because this is the one we should be comparing it to, not this one. Obviously y'all see the biggest differences is the colors on the wings, right? The colors on the midsole. Um, mainly, this is a lot more smooth, calm colorway, but like I said, man, this Air Jordan 4, it's, it's a great sneaker. Now, this is why I say comparison is the thief of all joy, because even though we just compared this sneaker to two other Air Jordan 4s, that doesn't make this shoe bad. That doesn't mean that this shoe is not fire, because it actually is. It's just, if you compare it to other sneakers that came before it, it's not high on the totem pole. But let's get into an overall breakdown of the sneaker and talk about what we like about it the most. For starters, for me, man, I love the outer sole being a mixture of all three dominant colors of the upper. We get some white, we get a little bit of gray, and we even get the black and red that's throughout the entire upper. Back to the midsole, we get exactly what we expected, right? Air unit on the back, we get the red speckles, the black speckles, I'm sorry, red paint on the midsole, mixed with a little bit of black. Going up to the upper, as I told you guys before, man, the upper is, the material is A1. A1 material is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, I couldn't ask for more from Jordan Brand. Also, the cage unit on the upper looked like they got a little bit of mesh behind it. That's something a little bit different. Um, the mesh, it's, it's smooth, I like it. it. Makes the shoe breathable. I mean, this is a fall sneaker, not a fall colorway, but it is a fall sneaker. Another great touch I think they did was the red back, right? They got the red Air Jordan on the Jumpman, and they also got the red speckles on the back heel of the sneaker. I like that as a touch. And of course, we get the Jumpman with the flight red on it as well. And that pretty much breaks down and locks down your Air Jordan 4 red cement. Now, for a little bit of background, it will be releasing for the retail price of $210 September 9th, which is 100% coppable in my opinion. For 210 these definitely should be and will be copped because that's a great price point for what you're getting. I absolutely approve the price point 
because the quality is great. Not to mention it will be in all size groups, all sizes, so it shouldn't be a problem getting your size or anything like that. It will be in men's sizes, they will be in kids' sizes, they will even be in the smaller kids' sizes. You should be fine. They're already loaded up right now on the Nike sneakers app, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Right now, I think on StockX and GOAT, they're going for about 275, 280, 300 max for some resellers that's not uploading on that, so I mean, that's, that's a little OD, but like I said, from 210, man, I definitely think it's a great cop and you should pick these up. Huge shout out to Kick Theory, by the way, man, because they are the ones who allowed me to get this sneaker and review it to y'all. So thank Kick Theory so much. I will leave them linked down below in the description as well. And do not leave before telling me your thoughts and opinions on this Air Jordan 4 Red Cement, man. Are you copping? Are you passing? And be sure to follow me down below on Instagram, man. Like I said, I do a lot of reels, a lot of short content that doesn't make it to my main channel that you guys need to check out. Until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. But who are you putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.